Carl Peterson, energy educator with North Dakota State University. And today we're here with Bruce Hagen, residential energy specialist with North Dakota Department of Commerce. And what he's going to do is he's going to walk us through this house and point out a few things that uh, if we were looking to buy this house or if this was our house, that some things that we should kind of pay attention to as far as the energy aspects of it. And Bruce, can you talk about a little bit what we're going to be looking for in the house today? Well, Carl, what we're going to do is just kind of go through the house the same way we would do an energy audit for the weatherization program, which, which we run. Um, we're going to go and look at the insulation in the attic. Uh, we're going to check the walls. We're going to look at the basement insulation. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the windows and the doors. Uh, we'll look at the heating system. Uh, we'll look at the lighting, the appliances, and just check everything that we would during a normal energy audit. Okay, what I'm seeing in the attic here is uh, a couple different layers of fiberglass that have been put in. There's actually a pretty good amount of insulation but it's not installed very well. It's uh, jumbled up and uh, piled up in places. There are, are, are openings. Um, I guess the biggest thing I would say would be it probably is a good candidate for at least a little blown in insulation on the top just to to make sure it's a good even coverage because what's here is not uh, not very even. The other thing we want to check before we do any of that is there looks like looks to be several spots that that may be candidates for some serious air leakage uh, around the vents and the, the water heater chimney uh, so those should all be checked before any work would be done in here also so bruce when you're saying you know looks like there's might be enough how much insulation are you average looking for you know five inches ten inches twenty inches well uh, what we want to probably shoot for uh, in in north dakota is is at least an r50 now I would say there's probably an R38 existing in here. So uh, as far as a payback, it's going to be borderline whether you know whether adding more is going to actually help. The only thing I'm I'm taking into consideration is like I said, it's not a very even job, and and with air leakage considerations, I think it's it's probably a good idea to add a little here. So an R50 is just about, just under 20 inches of right, insulation. Right, yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to want to look at all, almost two feet in, in some places. Okay.